Once again, we are the Student Coordinating Board and we present to you SUV, A Glimpse to Student Leaders Life. Hi naman kayo dyan, guys! Hi! What's up? Hello! Hi. Hello! Yo, yo, yo! Hi, guys! So, this is actually our second episode for this series. And today, we'll be again answering questions on leadership. And first of all, you might be... Um, wondering, bakit kami naka-graduation hat? This is because sadly, we are about to graduate as the Student Coordinating Board Officers for this uh, school year. So, bye-bye, guys! I believe Ava sa I believe Ava sa atin magsistay. Pero, of course, for some of us, we will be starting our college journey na. So, okay lang yan. We will just keep these hats para i-commemorate yung sort of end of this journey. And, 
take note that this will also be our last episode for the Stambayan TV program. Sadly, at the na yung last namin. And hopefully, you watch this and you enjoy this episode. Okay, ready na kayo guys? Pa, ano naman, ready na? Or react kayo dyan? Hi, Daddy. Okay. Yes na, yes. Okay, so again, we will be answering questions all about leadership na much more complex than what was provided on our last episode. So, mas makikilala nyo kami through this episode and we hope na you'll also um, get some learnings in some way and ma-apply nyo rin siya in your leadership life. Okay, let's start. First of all, our first question is, what is the difference between responsibility and accountability? So, for this question, we have already said who are the officers who will be answering and this will be led by Trisha. Trisha? Hi, my name is Patricia Lizardine. Um, I'm the treasurer of Student Coordinating Board. And my answer for this is, in terms of their technicality, responsibility is more of the task that you're, you are assigned with. And accountability is what happens after na nagawa niya yung task. So, for example, your responsibility is to send out emails, but you forgot about it. So, you have to hold yourself accountable na nakalimutan mo gawin yung responsibility mo. But of course, responsibility and accountability goes hand in hand and they're very important when it comes to leadership. And yeah, yun. Okay, so yung second answer na magtasagot is actually I. So I haven't introduced myself pala. I am Shani Alvius, the president of the Student Coordinating Board. With regards to this question, actually, it was difficult to distinguish these two terms kasi parang sort of similar talaga sila in terms of how you will use it na responsible ka kasi dito, you're accountable for this. But then, nung mas inisip ko lang, I think the real difference between these two terms is the responsibility more of yung ongoing process na kung ano yung mga duties na ginagawa mo, like kunwari, you would have to comply with the task of your position and such. And then being accountable comes after you do it. So, kapag nagawa mo na yung task na yun, or if you do not do it in the right manner, you become accountable for those actions. So, kailangan, as a leader, you be, uh, you're responsible for all the tasks that you will be um, implementing or kailangan nyo integrate but also accountable na if ever things go wrong or hindi maging maayos yung work mo, we will be ready enough to accept na you will need to accept sorry, kumulit uh, accept accountability for what you did Ayan, medyo, medyo hindi ganun ka clear pero yun yung definition ko between the difference of these two terms Ayan, so first of all, yung first question natin medyo mabigat at medyo complex but for our next question, I think this has been already um, brought or na rinig na natin siya before pa. So for our next question, what's more important, ideas or execution? So this question will be answered firstly by Celia. Hi, um, I'm the grade 10 representative of the SCB and my name is Sai. So when asked if which is more important, I think that um, first of all, pareho silang super important and they work together hand in hand for you to really uh, get the best outcome. So um, ideas are very important as well as the execution, but the execution cannot be good if the idea cannot suffice enough. Pero first of all, you should always be realistic in creating your ideas. And it should always be new, it should always be creative, make it innovative, but still realistic. Because um, when your ideas are too good, it hinders your ability to, uh, to accomplish a good outcome or execution. And with that said, uh, execution is far more important because you can have the best idea in the world and still execute it pretty bad. But you can have um, the worst idea in the world and still execute it pretty well. And if you're um, if you're asked kung alin yung mas ma appreciate mo, syempre yung latter. So ayun. Um, in conclusion, mas importante kung ano yung ginagawa mo kasi sa sinasabi mo or sa mga pinaplan. Okay, thank you, Sai. Next, we have Tim. 
ka, napapalakpak si Kirsha sa'yo sa'yo. Hi, okay, guys. Go. Hi, my name is May Justin Alter, the auditor of the gardening report. So, I agree with Sally. Yeah. Then, for me, um, for me lang naman, ewan ko lang kung mag-agree kayo, <laughs> execution is more important than um, than having uh, a lot of ideas. Kasi, having a great ideas is good, but hindi mo alam kung kung paano may execute yung mga ideas na yun. Wala rin. Hindi rin yun mag-work. But, kapag meron ka kahit isang idea lang, and you know how to execute it, mas, yun yung mag, mas mag-work. Kasi, um, ano yun? Dapat more on actions tayo. Yun. Ayun nga naman. Short answer lang siya. Sana. Okay. Thank you, Tin. Uh, same with Sylia, si Tin, na ang mas importante ay yung execution. How about you, Carl? Uh, hello, I'm Carl Estrada, the Grade 8 representative. So, sa akin naman, uh, both naman siyang ano, both naman siyang important. Kasi, ano eh, kasi anong point ng execution kung wala ka namang great idea? Anong point ng idea if not, pag, kung hindi mo naman execute yung idea mo? Pero ano, kung isa lang papipiliin sa akin, ano talaga, execution talaga. Kasi if, ano yun, pag may idea ka naman kahit konti. Ano yun? Pag may idea ka ng konti, execution kasi, ano, kasi, kahit may idea ka ng konti, kasi mapapakita mo yung, ano, yung idea mo. Kaya execution talaga yung, ano, mas importante. Okay, thank you, Carl. Um, lastly, we have Jillian. Hi, I'm Jillian Tarozo, the Public Information Officer. Um, for the question, pwede po bang copy-paste na lang yung mga sagot? <laughs> Nabanggit mo na lang lahat yung mga, ano, um, but anyways, um, I think pareha silang mahalaga. Kasi, tulad nga ng mga sinabi nila na wala namang, walang sense yung um, idea kung wala namang execution. Pero sa tingin ko, yung mas um, mahalaga sa dalawa ay yung execution. Kasi, along the execution naman magkakaroon ka pa rin ng magkakaroon ka pa rin naman ng idea kasi pag nag-execute hindi naman siya like ko anong na-imagine mo sa idea mo eh maraming factors na pwedeng mangyari so may mga pwede ring magbago and malalaman mo lang yun kapag na-execute mo na yung isang bagay so ayan Ayan, I think, hindi naman na na-repeat yun. I think, oh, yung sinabi ni Julian adds on sa mga sinabi with nila sa Ilya, nila Tin, and ni Carl. So, everyone agrees na more of leaning towards uh, execution. No? Kasi, siguro as officers then of the council, we've realized this of on our journey and our experiences. But I would just like to say na, iba iba talaga yung mga tao. There's no right or wrong answer, I believe, for this question. Kasi parang it defines you as a leader and iba iba talaga yung uh, perception natin on how we do things or kung yung mas importante. And just like, um, uh, I would just like to parang i-bring up yung isa pang uh, knowledge or bakit kaya siguro ang pipiliin ng iba is ideas. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Vendetta movie. I think si, si Trisha familiar siya kasi ni-require sa amin sa at strand namin. Eh. Pero sa Vendetta kasi, parang may quote doon na parang ideas are bulletproof kasi no one can take it from you. Ikaw lang. So when you form it and when parang inorganize mo at ginawa mo siya into one concrete um, meaning, then yun talaga yung power nun eh. Yung ideas. But then I'm not saying na hindi talaga importante yung execution but i'm just i just would like to bring light kung siguro bakit pipiliin na iba yung ideas kasi it, it is actually bulletproof ah wait sorry nag repeat na words ko pero yeah they could uh, regard it as a bulletproof material or idea or thing ayan anyways next question what was the most difficult challenge you faced as a leader and how did you overcome it so for our first officer it would be Joshua Okay, hello. So, I am Joshua Kalibo, the grade, grade 9 representative. So, uh, for me, as a student leader, uh, the most difficult challenge I faced was realizing I haven't been giving myself time and that my mental 
that my mental health became extremely un- unstable and I became extremely drained of everything around me. Uh, so what I did was uh, I was able to overcome it by trying to manage my time much more properly in, in a very improved way and giving myself more time to reflect on how things have been lately and pretty much just checking on myself. Ayan. Thank you, Josh. Okay, next would be um, Alexan. Uh, for a great talk. I'm Alexa Ni Ujong, the grade 11 representative of SCP. So, uh, for me, yung difficult challenge na experience ko sa leadership journey ko, yung pakikipag deal with the pandemic. Kasi ang daming adjustments, like, lahat ng gagawin online. And yung ito talaga pinaka-challenge ko, yung pag-deal ko ng anxiety. Kasi kailangan mo talagang i-overcome yun eh. As an officer, ginawa ko talagang nag-take risk ako mag officer para ipakita sa iba na kaya nilang ano, makipag-deal sa kanilang takot or fear as long as dedicated sila sa ginagawa nila. So, yun, uh, as long as dedicated naman ako, na-overcome ko siya step by step. So, I'm happy with it. <laughs> wow, ang ganda ng sagot ni, ano, no, ni Alexan. Uh, so, parang inspiring, motivating din talaga na it's more of conquering those battles, those challenges, you know, taking the... Be, being brave. Wow, F-E-U. <laughs> okay, next. Uh, next question is, what is an advice you would give to someone who wishes to nurture their leadership skills? Again, what is an advice you could give to someone who wishes to nurture their leadership skills? Let's start off with Austin. What's up, guys? So... I'm Sean Austin D. Asuncion, the Peace Officer of the Student Coordinating Board. So, yun. So, sinabi na nga ni Sean Lee kanina yung sasabihin ko na be brave. So, <laughs> ang pinaka-ma-advise ko talaga is being brave kasi you need to be brave sa criticism, sa mga uh, uh, maging brave ka sa mga oh my god, namala ako. <laughs> maging brave ka sa <laughs> sa ano mo sa pag go out sa safe zone mo kasi masyado natin minsan na wala tayong confidence sa sarili natin kasi being a leader naman is kahit sa ang aspect, kahit saan ka pumunta pwede kang maging leader so kailangan mo lang maging brave na i-accept yung challenge na yon and i-overcome yung mga criticism kasi Pag in-over ka may mga criticisms na yun, ka mag-grow, mag- matututo ka kung ano ba yung dapat mong i-improve as a leader. And at the same time, pag nag-grow out ka sa safe zone mo, dun mo magigain yung mga experience na kailangan mo na makukuha mo sa ibang tao. And at the same time, mabibigay mo rin sa iba na hindi mo rin napapansin. So, it's about reciprocation lang. So, ayun lang. Wow! Impressive answer from Austin. Baka ma-pressure yung susunod natin. <laughs> Hindi naman. First, sorry, meron ding uh, point or meron ding side kit naman. Ayan. Sa akin, ang advice ko, when, I mean, from all the experience I've had as a student leader, k- kailangan mat- matuto kang uh, din, uh, maging open sa maging open sa bagong leadership, maging open sa bagong ideas, sa bagong um, ways and uh, execution and everything. Kasi, uh, dun ka mag-nurture, dun ka mag-grow. Kung magsistick ka lang dun sa alam mo, hindi hindi mo mapapalawig pa yung ways of leadership na meron ka. Hindi mo makikita kung hanggang saan yung full extent ng potential mo as a leader. And, Siyempre, kung um, gusto mo talaga mag-nurture, ma-nurture yung leadership skills mo, dapat um, alam mo rin sa sarili mo yung capabilities mo and alam mo rin dapat sa sarili mo kung gaano ka ka-eager. Dapat alam mo yan eh, ma- ma-internalize mo yung eagerness mo talaga na ah, gusto ko matuto ng 
ganitong bagay. Ah, gusto kong makita kung paano nag-work yung ganitong leadership style. Ah, gusto kong makita bakit ganito siya. Gusto kong maintindihan bakit yung isang leader ganito siya mag, um, mag-lead. So, when it comes to leadership, hindi lang siya ano, eh, monotonous, hindi lang siya complacent. It's uh, changing and lagi siyang pa-move forward. Never siya dapat na nagiging um, stagnant lang. So, kung gusto nyo manager, dapat maging open ka and you learn how to um, communicate talaga and kilalanin mo yung mga makakatrabaho. Ayan. Thank you, Kit. Okay. So, I would also be answering this question. So, again, yung question is an advice that I could give to someone who wishes to nurture their leadership skills. So, if I would give an advice, meron akong sort of four-point advices. So, first of all, parang, ano, not parang, first is have grit. So, ano nga ba yung grit? Uh, I'm not sure if everyone is familiar with this term, but merong famous figure na dinidefine nito as the perseverance and passion to achieve long-term goals. In simple terms, na kahit na madapa ka, kahit na you would face hardships, you'd still get up. Kasi you know that you have a long-term goal that you would like to achieve and attain. So, important yun in being a leader since there will be moments na ma- you won't be the best. Yun. There will be moments that you won't be the best. There will be moments that you will make mistakes. There will be moments na ikaw naman yung matututo from other people. And grit is essential for you to accept that kind of failures and still achieve those long-term goals. Another thing, medyo, fami- medyo related na eh, is acceptance with action. Like what I've said, there will be moments na hindi ko yung best. Merong time na siguro ikaw yung leader sa class mo, but then you enter the council and you see that there are leaders na parang mas kaya nilang i-bring out yung sarili nila, i-explain, mag-organize, mag-delegate. Makikita niyo yan eh, na, ay, nandito na naman ako, back to square one na naman ako. Para nasa bigger pond ako, I'm a fish in a bigger pond where ako naman na naman yung pinakamaliit na kailangan mag-grow pa. But that's essential kasi along with that acceptance, may action ka rin na if you won't be the best, then you will try. I mean, hindi naman kailangan best talaga, pero to achieve ko ano man yung mga qualities and attributes na gusto mo rin makuha as an individual and as a leader. Next is self-affirmation. Siguro with self-affirmation is, like I've said kanina, may times talaga na hindi mo maintindihan or you'll make mistakes, you'll also encounter hardships na gusto mo na lang sumuko. But then with self-affirmation, you recognize and appreciate those efforts that you've given all throughout the time na you've committed to a certain cause. So parang, okay, self, nadapa ka ngayon, um, nagkamali ka, but then along that way, natuto ka pa rin or matututo ka pa rin and then um, you still did your best I know you did your best and that is enough yun naman talaga eh. kailangan i-appreciate mo rin yung sarili mo in terms of what you are giving and uh, what you are giving and the things that you receive and lastly yung wise I think this is always cliche na and Paul Pulit pero kasi ako personally as a leader yung wise ko talaga yung more of nag-ground sa akin eh yung nag-commit sa akin to this um, organization or club and in terms of my external commitments na bakit ko ba ginagawa to? Mahirap kasi subukan, mahirap itake ang isang trabaho, isang responsibility na hindi mo alam bakit mo siya ginagawa. Kasi if you do not know it, susuko ka agad. And I think that comes with learning, being a student, being a family member, being a friend, na you stay for a reason. You do things for a reason. And that is your wise. So, yun lang. I think, yun, mga four point ko. Na, have grip, uh, accept with action, once in a while, have, um, parang promote self-affirmation, and lastly, know your wise and always commit to it. Okay? Next question. Our next question is, what would you say to convince someone to take the initiative of being a leader? Again, what would you say to convince someone to take the initiative of being a leader? Again, let's have Jillian. Um, ano ba? Um, anyone can be a leader and taking that step 
won't be easy. Kasi, parang, well, ako, personally, hindi ko, hindi ko na-imagine sa sarili ko as a leader. Nung una. Kasi parang, nakatakot. Parang ganun. Pero, along the process, dun mo, parang dun mo mararamdaman na, ay, masaya pala maging leader. Kasi, hindi ka lang nag-grow as a person. Natutulungan mo rin yung ibang tao na mag-grow sa, ano, sa sarili na ng paraan. So, ayun. Parang win-win situation din naman siya. Oh, that's a good thing. I like your answer niya. No? Nakatulong ka rin with others. Okay, next, si Austin. Sabi na ni Gillian lahat. Joke. <laughs> so, Hindi pa naman. <laughs> for me. Masight na lang sa dulo. <laughs> Uh, for yeah, me, yeah. ano? 2021, sorry. <laughs> sa ano ng research. Okay, Asi, ikaw na talaga. Go. So, for me, para makonvince ka na, or makonvince yung tao na maging leader, for me, una niyang isipin is, ano nga ba yung gusto niya mangyari sa sarili niya and sa mga bagay-bagay. Kasi, para magkaroon ka ng action, or para maging motivated ka, kailangan mo hanapin kung ano ba yung reason. Parang, kailangan mo ng fuel para mag-move forward ka. And, pag nahanap mo na yung reason na yun, isipin mo, naisip mo lang siya, ano nang gagawin mo ngayon? So, kailangan mo mag-take ng action. So, kailangan mo na um, mag-take ng courage na mag-initiate na kumilos ka kasi if gusto mo mangyari yun and wala kang gagawin, is walang kwenta lang siya. And, dun papasok yung importance ng friends and families natin and ng mga tao sa paligid natin na pag nat- na natatakot tayo mag-take ng initiative, isipin natin na may mga tao magsusupport sa atin. Kasi ako personally, hindi naman talaga ako, nag ako hindi kasi gusto ko na agad na maging leader na parang ah kasi kaya ko to ganyan, ganyan. Siyempre, may self-doubts tayo sa sarili natin kung kaya ba natin. Pero ako kasi, nag-start lang talaga ako sa leader kasi sinabihan ako ng mga kaibigan ko. So, parang sila yung nagbigay ng fuel sa akin na but hindi ko itry since nakita nila sa akin? So, kailangan mong magtiwala sa sarili mo and alam ko na sobrang hirap kasi syempre, sa age natin na parang ang dami nating kinikwestiyon, na ang dami nating gustong gawin pero later on makikita mo yung mga benefits pag naging part ka na. So, kailangan mo lang i-endure ngayon and take courage. So, yun lang. Once again, be brave. Grabe yung promotion natin sa FEU. Na joke ha. Maganda talaga yung principle or yung belief ng FEU doon sa be brave talaga. Kasi in all aspects, you need to integrate that. Okay? Uh, thank you, Dillian and Austin, for our next question. What would be the hardest task for any leader? So, Kit? Ito siguro, I don't know if mag a Uh, maybe for some, hindi siya yung hardest task. But for me, super, ito yung mahirap i-maintain along the way, I think, for most of us, is yung time management. Kasi as a leader, hindi lang tayo leader eh. Anak rin tayo, kaibigan din tayo. Uh, tayo din tayo. I mean, we are ourselves on our own. So, kung hindi tayo marunong mag-manage ng time sa una pa lang, everything will follow it to um, go down. Parang magkakaroon din siya ng conflict um, as time goes by. Kapag hindi tayo marunong uh, mag-manage ng time natin, ma- ma- mako-question din yung commitment natin, mako-question din yung priorities natin your responsibilities natin. So, I think the hardest um, task for any leader is to really um, maintain yung time na pinaalat niya for each task or each responsibility na meron siya sa lahat ng roles niya in life. Kasi, um, ako as panganay, I have uh, two younger brothers na I have to um, assist sometimes, alo na ngayon, sa ano, sa way sa mode ng learning natin. So, kailangan ko rin silang uh, tulungan sa mga modules nila. Kahit ako, to myself, aminado ako na mahirap din yung mga uh, yung sistema ngayon for me, lalo na graduating. Tapos si mom naman, hindi siya ganun, uh, 
ganun ka tech savvy so i also have to assist her sa paggawa ng mga powerpoint powerpoint presentations niya kasi teacher si mama so um with all those examples na nasabi ko um and being a leader myself sa household and sa school and everywhere i go i think time management talaga yung kailangan nating pagtuunan ng pansin kasi admit it or not talagang mahirap siya mahirap siyang uh, i-maintain mahirap siyang i-achieve hangga't hindi natin na discipline yung sarili natin doon sa um, concept ng time management hey, yeah. thank you kit i think ang nasab gusto lang mag-input gusto ko lang dagdagan yun na yung sinabi niya is more of the time management yung pag-prioritize mo rin eh naisip ko lang bigla when you introduce yourself like I am a student leader tinan mo yung sequencing ng words na yun I nauna muna ikaw so sino ka ba as individual kaibigan ka anak ka uh, you have your own life then then pago dumating yung pagiging student leader kung ano mang position yun so parang in all aspects talaga you would have to identify or find balance in all of those aspects that you have in life. Okay, next we have Alexandra. Ano, I agree with a ticket. So, it's really hard to balance ng time as a student leader. But uh, ito naman yung sa akin. Yung mahirap na task ng pagiging student leader para sa akin yung makapagbago ka ng isang tao like ma-inspire mo sila lalo na sa sitwasyon ngayon pero parang ano di ba nakaloka na makapagbago ka ng tao ngayon sa pandemic tapos yung isipin mo pa yung hindi mo alam kung ano yung prioritize mo like ang dami mong responsibilities then meron ka pang ano uh, job as a student leader so Di ko alam kung alin yung pinakamahirap doon, pero mahirap talaga sila lahat. So, yun yung hard task ng pagiging student leader para sa akin. Alright. Thank you, Alexan. Last for this question, we have... Uh, sorry, nawala lang akin. It is... Carl. No, again. <laughs> Hi. So, sa akin naman, uh, sa akin siguro is decision making. Yung syempre, because yung leader usually yun yung ano eh. Yun yung, yun yung nag-iisip kung, pangari, kung paano execute yung idea. For example, sa events. Yung siya yung mag-iisip ng sa compet, na sa team, sa pubmats, ganun. Uh, hindi, siyempre, yung ibang leaders din yung ano. Mag-iisip din yung ibang leaders. Pero, siyempre, yung leader pa rin yung mag-iisip ng ano. Yung, sa dami na, sa ano, sa ideas nga. Siyempre, isipin din nila yung pros and cons. <laughs> Saka yung leader din kasi, siya yung huling magde-decision for the, ano, for the events. Ayun lang. Okay. Thank you, Carl. I think ang parang inaano niya is parang more of the responsibility na ikaw kasi yung final say eh. As a leader, you would have to take that responsibility and be accountable. Yan yung two terms natin at this part. Okay, so for our second to the last question, we have, or the question is, what would be the important points when asked about leadership? So let's, what would be the important points when asked about leadership? Let us start with Trisha. <laughs> Hello again. Um, for me, I think there are two important points when it comes to being a leader. The first one is being um, gratitude. Kailangan kapag leader ka, you need to stay humble and you need to be very grateful of everything that you encounter. Inclu- that includes all the negative things because from the negative things, you're able to grow. You know, people see failure as something that you should be ashamed of, but failure is just a chance for you to grow. You know, if ka, you have another chance to just to learn from that and to do things better. And the second point would be helping others. I think another thing is that people think of leadership as some as something that gives you power, something that gives you control over others. But leadership is more of guiding other people to the right path, gu- guiding other people to do better, to be the best versions of themselves. You're not meant to just say how somebody is supposed to act. You're meant to guide them in experiencing and learning about who they could be, about all their potentials. So yeah, you should always be grateful for everything, the opportunities, 
the weaknesses, the strengths, and you should always help others in everything that they encounter. Okay, okay thank you. So, so uh, sa akin naman, uh, yung mga important points, I think, could be would be uh, first is yung time management skills kasi yun nga marami kang i-manage dahil lalo na may academics and other stuff extracurricular and then uh, second is yung integrity dapat you should dapat ano ka uh, tapat ka tapat ka sa principles mo and dapat ano hindi ka more like parang may pinoprotektahan or may kinikilingan <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, third is yung accountability dahil dahil uh, kasi lahat ng actions mo na makaka-apekto yan ng ibang tao and you should always try to you should always be accountable for the things na magagawa mo if ever may may masabang resulta yung ginawa mo and then Uh, lastly, I think would be yung maging strong dapat dahil marami kang maririnig na salita si student leader. Eh. Maraming maraming hindi ma marami, mostly kasi ano eh, one-sided lang nakikita ng iba. So, dapat you should be ano, parang what, ano bang term nun? Parang strong. Yun nga. You should be strong kasi if madaling mapupot, mabibring down yung guard mo, parang parang you won't be able to do your job properly. Yeah, yun lang. Okay. Thank you, Josh. Lastly, we have Tai. Tai na. Hi, guys. I'm back. So, um, what would be my important points of leadership? So, yung focal points ng leadership, um, they vary from person to person. And I can see na magkaiba yung sagot ni Ate Trisha, ni Josh, and iba din yung sagot ko. I have three focal points that um, um, keep my leadership running. And number one is responsibility. Kasi we can all agree naman na the responsibilities of being a leader is heavy talaga. So, mag agree yung co-officers ko na you really have to carry out the responsibility to serve to serve the best that you can. And marami kang, ano eh, marami kang responsibility na kailangan i-carry out. There's meetings, there's plans, there's ideas, you have to execute it, and delegation. So yeah, keep in mind that you have to be ready for um, what you're gonna be faced with as a leader. And of course, this comes with uh, the time management, um, your your um, knowledge of yourself, of others, and of course, you have to stay grounded. Then, oh yeah, you have to be responsible about your tasks and yourself. Second is um, communication and understanding. Uh, as a leader, you're going to be the bridge between your followers and the higher-ups. Or, if you're the higher-up, you have to understand everything that's going on below you, ganun. I believe that communication is a really important part of leadership because as a leader, you lead your followers, diba? And as a leader, you have to listen to your followers to know what is best for them. Kaya kailangan ng hikipag communicate ka talaga. Kasi hindi mo naman alam lahat, eh. hindi mo alam kung ano nararamdaman nila, kung ano gusto nila. That's why you have to ask, that's why you have to communicate. So, para makapag decide ka ng uh, pinakamaganda. And of course, hindi lang yun yung communication na importante. You have to know how to communicate with the people that you're working with. And kailangan talaga matuto kang makipag-communicate effectively as a whole. And lastly is um, adaptability. And ayun, it's one of the most important aspects of leadership kasi hindi mo alam kung anong darating. You have to be adaptable in all situations possible. Dapat naisip mo na yung worst case scenario and best case scenario and kailangan matuto ka maging flexible and open in uh, solving all those and 
kailangan naging open ka for ideas so you can be innovative because change is the only thing that's constant in this world and you have to keep that in mind as a leader and of course like now the ba naka pandemic so kami and the other student leaders we adapted to this pandemic and even though nasanay kami sa face to face ayun you just have to be adaptable so let nothing hinder your leadership mapatay mapa way of leadership mapa innovation mapa knowledge or wisdom pa yan mahaba thank you guys okay, okay lang okay ayan may kain natin talaga sa mga responses natin from Tersha kay Joshua and kay Silia na iba iba talaga yung Uh, parang perception or quality ng pagiging isang leader kung ano yung importante sa atin as leaders and that's why dito talaga natin makikita na anyone can be a leader and along the process you develop this understanding of this priorities of this beliefs na ikaw lang talaga makakaintindi kasi ikaw naman yung nagiging leader eh. ikaw yung pumupunta sa path na yun eh nag-undergo lahat ng experiences and now we are now done, down to our last question. So, for our last question, we have 10, and ako personally, I would answer this, but we would also request everyone for our co-officers inside this Zoom session to answer it. Personally, kung anong tingin nila yung magiging sagot nila. So, the question is, what do you think is the greatest reward leadership can give you? Again, what do you think is the greatest reward leadership can give you? 10, based on my experience siguro yun yung makapag-explore ka pa sa makapag-explore ka ng mga bagay-bagay sa sarili mo Na, mas nakikilala mo yung sarili mo talaga dito sa paglilid mo and then ma, mas um, pag nasa gitna ka na dun mo nare-realize na oh ma, mas nakikilala mo kaya ko pala gawin tong bagay na to noon na mga ba, noon, noon akala ko um, sila lang yung makakagawa nito pero dahil sa trinay ko trinay kong trinay ko tong bagay na to um next part ay kaya ko to so next one is yung experience yung dati um, na, napapanood ko lang sila ngayon like yung sa mga past webinars natin si attorney Del Doc Doc no si Congresswoman Sara Elago na, like parang ang dati ang hirap nilang abutin pero ngayon nakakausap na natin sila to webinar ganon next one is yung concept sa feeling na yung mga events natin yung feeling na part ako noon yung napapasabi ka part ako noon nung success na yun and then isa ako isa ako sa reason bakit bakit naging successful yung event na yun ayun then lastly naman is yung yung mata ma masolve mo yung isang problem yung mga concerns ng mga students isa rin yan yung reason kung bakit na ma-motivate ako kahit sobrang sobrang hirap sa totoo lang mahirap talaga maging isang student pero yung thought na matulungan sila hindi lang naman kasi yung mga experience sa mga ano yun eh mga concerns yun na experience ko rin yun pero yung thought na isa ako sa nag-raise doon yun yung talagang ano um nag- nagpapamotivate sa akin para tuloy lang yung pag-lead ko kahit na hindi Ayun. Ayan. Thank you, Tim. Okay. So, before anyone else, or kung meron ba mauna sa akin, meron ba? Kung gusto mag-volunteer, mag-raise hand lang kayo if you'd like. Okay. So, kung meron mo na, ako na lang. At kung meron binolunteer mo siya. Anyway, so, para makapag-isip mo na yung iba, for me, actually, ang answer talaga dito is parang greatest reward din. Eh, no? More of one lang siya. Pero ay, parang medyo nag-agree rin. Okay, then, nung na, ano ko na, nung ginawa ko siya, hindi lang talaga pwedeng isa lang eh. Kasi ang dami mo talaga makukuha from being a leader. So, for me, first is, ano talaga, to serve others for a cause bigger than yourself. So, it's more of, uh, tawag dito, realizing na hindi ka lang, di ba meron tayong belief na, uh, hindi, hindi siya belief eh, totoo, we're just a speck of dust in this universe na sobrang liit lang talaga natin na what we do might not really affect other people. But when you become a leader, nawawala yung thought na yun eh. You see, you you realize na yung service na nilalaan mo, it's causing a big change in the people you influence. And that's really fulfilling. And another thing is to build connections. 
not only connections in a way na network na kunwari kailangan mo siya in future pero parang building of family like what is happening here in SCB or, or ano na yung na-form namin na through this experience through this term mas nagkaroon ka ng people in the field that you have interest in na nakaka-relate ka with tapos you, you have the same passion with and nakakano rin yun nakaka-motivate din as a leader as an individual to have those people around you that will not only um, share yung mga rants yung mga responsibilities yung hirap but also people na you can learn from ayan and then lastly is you do what you love kasi I believe in being a leader hindi talaga pwede hindi mo mahal ginagawa mo um, kung hindi mo mahal ginagawa mo hindi ka dito yun ang belief ko talaga more diba sinasabi nila magkaiba ang public servant sa parang official go, sorry yun ako sa gobyerno pero yun natin yung ina- naririnig kayo public official and being ay public servant and a government official kasi public servant is more of yung side ng leadership na selfless na hindi ka like you take advantage of the power that you have and then more of serving other people so this na you do what you love is really fulfilling as an individual as a person kasi mahirap talaga sa life na to na magkaroon ng something na you'd really enjoy it na willing kang i-commit yung uh, journey mo or yung life a section of your life so with doing what you love I believe na you're also building a purposeful purposeful and meaningful life diba yun naman talaga in-achieve in- natin as individuals na magkaroon tayo ng something in the future na we'd be proud of na hindi natin kapap ano kapapagura natin magkakaroon tayo ng burnout but still nandun pa rin yung fulfillment and gratification na you went on on that journey Ayan, so now, proceed na tayo sa other co-officers namin. Sinong gusto mag-volunteer? Meron ba? Mag-raise hands? If wala, of course, ang sequence na natin dyan ay grade 8 representative. Si Carla. Carla. Si Carla. Either way naman. Ano ba yan? Ayaw. Lagi na lang ako piniti. Let's go, Carla. Mahal ka na. Sana always piniti. Sana always piniti. Sana always piniti. All ka, Arl. Oh, silver lining, Carl. Oh, sige, Carl. Ano yung greatest reward sa iyo ng leadership? Siyempre, siyempre, expect niyo na maiksi yung sagot ko dito. <laughs> Ever since naman maiksi sagot ko. Siguro yung, ano, siguro yung reward is yung, ano, yung leadership is tutulong saan? Sa karir ko kasi, unang una, gusto ko mag-abogado. So, dahil sa leadership because of, yun nga, public speaking, sana yun sa makakatulong. Siguro makakatulong din yung sa, sa other passion ko, like sa music. Siyempre, mas ma-explore ko pa yung ano, <laughs> yung yung mga kung ano-ano dyan. Isa rin siguro sa reward is yung ano, yung nakalala rin yung mga ano, yung taong mga tutu- yung mga taong tutulong sa akin para mas, mas magaling para mas maging magaling na leader which is kaya nga siguro yun lang wow nata- nakita ko na kami lang ni Tin yung nag-react na-touch kami <laughs> okay mga din naman naram naman yung iba hindi lang nag-reflect sa mga nila okay next we have Josh oh, no, no. masyado kami yung uh, express ni Tin eh. okay Josh hey, uh, hello so sa akin uh, yung great greatest reward. Well, marami talaga siya eh. Pero, para sa akin, yung ano, pinaka-greatest thing eh, is yung kapag ka may successful event or may successful ka na nagawa sa ano, you know na maraming na maraming tao ang magbe-benefit dyan. And then, I think yung parang feeling na kapag naririnig mo yung good comments nila about sa ano mo, yun yung parang sobrang nakaka... Uh, anong tawag doon? Parang nakaka-satisfy sa sarili na parang doon mo, dun mo alam na na tama yung nagawa mo. So, yun. Para sa akin, yun yung greatest reward. Kasi, ano, parang there's no other feeling in the world that could match it. Wow! Ayan, okay. Thank you, Josh. Now, uh, great ten representative Sai. For me, the greatest reward that leadership gives me is 
the wisdom that comes with it and the service that I'm able to give out to others. Kasi sobrang fulfilling pero sobrang nakakapagod din. But it's rewarding when you get to feel na you serve others or make a change, make a difference and it makes things better for everyone. It makes you more aware of your surroundings and makes you value each and every individual. It makes you think of everyone talaga. And also, when you're a leader, you learn a lot from other people that you meet along the way. And kapag itong tao na meet mo, you gain a chunk of their wisdom and their knowledge and their experience. And all of those chunks will accumulate to make you a better you. And when you're a better you, you're a better leader. And ayun, it all um it all falls down to ano ba? Ayoko na, ayoko na ituloy. <laughs> all the things that all the things and skills and yung mga bagay-bagay that comes with leadership. It's all going to be very valuable to your life. And I know that you guys can agree with me na itong mga ginagawa natin, it will be very valuable sa buhay natin. And I don't think there's a better reward than that. Grabe, may mga finishing statements talaga yung mga ka-officers natin. Okay, next up, Alexan. Para sa akin, self-fulfillment. Like, parang napuno na or nasolve na yung kulang sa puso mo. Kasi, Sobrang rewarding talaga ng praying leader. As in, nakapagod siya, pero yung outcome, super worth it. Kasi ang dami mong matututunan. Like, nung una, akala ko talaga, hindi ko siya kaya. Pero step by step, kaya ko rin pala. And sobrang rewarding niya. Kasi, mabubus yung confidence mo. And as time passes by, makakalimutan mo na yung mga kakitisisan ng ibang tao na dati kinatatakutan mo, ayong marinig. And... Ayun nga, uh, pagiging leader yung reward niya, magiging mas successful kang tao balang araw. Mas magiging prepared ka sa lahat ng bagay. And I tell you, being a leader is so much fun. It gives you self-fulfillment. Alright. Thank you, Alexan. Next, we have Julia. Hindi ko nalilito talaga ako sa order ng Peace Office and PIO. Sorry, guys. Ito sa inyo na lang. Okay. Julia. Um... Para sa akin, yung greatest reward ay yung alam mong kahit hindi ganun kalaki yung ginagawa mo, alam mong some way, somehow, may nalilig kang impact sa ibang tao. And I think, ang sobrang, parang, sobrang, parang, iba yung feeling kapag alam mong ganun yung nagagawa mo. Kasi parang, kapag na, nabigyan mo ng impact sa ibang tao, um, mas, nagiging paano ba? Pa- para mas nagiging better yung community na meron tayo. And, yun. Okay. Thank you, Julian. Next, we have Austin. For me, ang greatest um, ang greatest na makuha ko for being a leader is the memories we shared to the people around us from our co-officers, from the people that we help. Kasi, first of all, siya, um, co-officers natin. Kasi, syempre, hindi lang na, uh, kasi, mostly nakikita lang ng mga tao is yung result na, na ng event namin. Pero, along the process na yun, may kita yung mga hard works and yung pagtutulungan talaga na mag-i-engage, kailangan talaga mag-engage kayo sa isa't isa. And, mula din sa engagement na yun, dun yung may kita yung mga Um, yung approaches na iba't ibang ginagawa nila parang iba't ibang tao yung nakakasalamuha mo from your um, co-officers and mula doon natututo ka and madadala mo yon along the way and may mga memories din na share from the other students kasi nga ba diba, ini-engage natin and mula sa mga memories na yon kasi naniniwala ako na hindi ka naman forever magiging leader and yung mga memories na yon dun ka nila maaalala kaya you have to make sure na yung mga memories na shared mo sa ibang tao, something remarkable for them na mabuti and maganda. So, ayun lang. 
Okay, thank you, Austin. Down to our last two officers, we have Trisha. I think Vanessa. Hi. Then Chuck. Hello. I have returned. Yung ko na realize di ko pala na pala tanga ng ko. But I am Patricia. Nakahiram lang nang so. <laughs> but um, to avoid reiterating naman what my co-officers have said, but also to kind of jump on the point of Austin and the second point of Shabby. I think um, the most rewarding thing of being a leader is the family that you get to create. Because along the way, kaya nga sabi ni Austin, there's, there are so many things that's gonna bring it down. Not just the criticism of others, but also your own criticism. And syempre, yung mga, yung mga pinagkahirapan nyo along the way. So, you know, there's many things na papapapigil ka talaga and iisipin mo important talaga na ganun. And you'll have your own self-doubt. But within that, there's also a family to understand you. I think I speak for everyone or mostly everyone when I say that it's hard to find people who understand you, who understand how you're feeling. But with SCB, I naging kaklase ko si Shanley. <laughs> so she understands, she understands my struggle na kailangan kong gumawa ng peta pero ang dami naming meeting. Yung ganong struggle. Or si Saylia na nagsasabay yung meetings and yung training namin. So ako, parang nagigilty ako na I can't give my focus to one thing. But she understands and she reassures me that it's okay to take breaks, to to split your attention to multiple things as long as you're passionate about it. There, so, ayan, along the struggles, along with the struggles that you encounter, there's people who understand you and there's people who will make you feel so welcomed and so loved. Because this was a quote that I saw a long time ago where it said na people don't always remember the things that you said, but they do remember the way that you made them feel. And being a leader, you get to meet these people and they will make you feel so loved and so special. So, okay, ayun lang. <laughs> That's like, <laughs> ayun. Yeah, well, okay, puro ano tayo, ha? parang farewell na rin sa atin within us. Bakit ang heartfelt na walang mga message na rin natin? Anyways, okay, for our last officer, we have Kit Castillo. So, yeah. Lahat din na na lahat, eh, magkakosing na lang, sarap. Pero, ano, <laughs> gusto ko lang i-reiterate talaga yung greatest reward. Yung sinabi kanina ni Joshua, yung sense of fulfillment talaga, yung accomplishment, yung feeling of success na nararamdaman mo kaya maliit or malaking um, event pa yan, project, meeting, yung at the end of the day, mararamdaman mo yung fulfillment na, ah, nagawa ko siya. And, mas mararag mas padadagdagan yung yung feeling na yun knowing na you have um, support system with you yun yung maganda rin eh, na meron kang mga kasama na ginawa yun na alam mo sa sarili mo na hindi ka mag-isa na kaya kaya naging success mo yun kasi marami ka rin kasama na talagang nag-aim for success and ano ba sabi ko? Na, na ano, kasi na-overrun na ako sa, ano, sa mga sinabi. And what I'm trying to say is that iba talaga, na iba yung nagagawa ng hindi lang sa colleagues yung, yung nabibuild mo kapag may ganitong organization. Masarap sa feeling na um, nakuha mo, nakakuha ka rin ng friends. Kasi sa SCB, hindi lang naman pure, ano eh, hindi lang naman pure projects yung pinag-uusapan natin. We, uh, we were able to rant na about uh, academic stuff, uh, personal stuff, Nag- naging, ano, di ba, naging comfortable na tayo para asarin yung mga, yung isa't isa, ayan, di ba? And, I always say, you're not, <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, ako naman na yung last, di ba? <laughs> ano, um, kasi yung ibang tao, di ba, sinasabi nila na, ano ba nakukuha mo dyan? Di ba, minsan kasi may mga tao na hindi na Ano ba na gagawa niya? Dagdag responsibility lang yan eh. Dagdag ano lang yan. Buti kung kumikita ka dyan. Buti kung bla 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 bla, di ba? Pero, iba yung pakiramdam. Iba yung pakiramdam kapag meron kang nagagawa na alam mong may dahilan 
may pinupuntahan, may kin- may kinalalag yan. Meron kang na, parang meron kang uh, tawag dito, as, as, Tagalog yun, yung pinaplan. Yun. Meron kang tinatanem. <laughs> meron kang tinatanem sa next generation of leaders na tama yung sinabi ni Austin ba yun? Si Austin ba yun? Yung ano na Wait lang, oh my god, ang dami nyo na nagsalita lahat yun yun. Na pagdating ng panahon, yung maibibigay mo sa kanila, yung makapag-iwan ka ng legacy na, ah, meron ako isang leader na nakita noon, ganito siya. Ay, grabe yung, ano, yung ginawa ng organization na to. Ay, grabe yung ginawa na itong SCB na to. Kasi, grabe talaga yung naging outcome nung, ano, nung project na lang. So on and so, and so forth. Pero, despite sa lahat ng pagod. Kasi, aminin natin, oh, hindi. Along the process, may nagkakainisan, may napapagod, may napaburnout. Misa, may gusto na lang umalis, may gusto na lang mag, aw, mag-AWOL, di ba? But, at the end of the day, di ba? At the end of the day, when you get to finish it with your uh, co-officers, with your friends, masarap sa feeling na, ay, nagawa namin to. Ay, may naiwan kami. Ay, may natapos kami. May na-achieve kami. May 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 naging successful, di ba? Hindi, hindi mo mamemeasure yung success ng isang bagay dahil lang sa malaki, like, malaki yung na-reach out niya, di ba? Kahit isa lang yan, eh. I remember my mentor telling me, kahit isang tao lang yan na na-reach out mo, kung nakapag-iwan ka talaga sa kanya ng isang mabigat na lesson, or isang talagang yung katatak-tatak na lesson. That's more than enough for you to be fulfilled with what you have done. And I guess that's the greatest reward talaga. Yun, huh? Sh- Siyempre, to, ano, to summarize, diba? Yung sense of fulfillment and yung family, talaga, yung relationship na nabubuo mo within the organization. Yun, Ayan. Okay, thank you to my co-officers. Actually, now, medyo extended na tayo. Pero I think it was very fruitful episode. Hindi lang parang ano nga siya, more of a bonding within us. Kasi we get to know one another deeper. Kala natin, medyo kalala na natin. Or like, meron na tayong deep understanding of one another. Pero through this episode, through the this, not the really discussion, of the sharing that we gave out, mas naintindihan natin ang isa't isa. And, Ang ganda lang. Ang ganda nung uh, naging result for me, ah, personally. Mas parang na-fulfill ako as an individual, as a leader, and yeah, as your co-officer. And oh, um, before we really conclude this, I think ang um, isa lang din gusto kong i-bring up is where um, yung isa sa mga sinabi natin yung greatest reward is having to create a family within this organization, di ba? Pero we should also acknowledge na it's not really all the times na makakakuha ka ng mga taong ganun. And we should feel um, blessed and grateful na within this club, within this term, we have found people na we can um, say na, alam niyo yun, yung, ano yun? My people. Di ba may ganun? May mga taong na hindi mo talaga reach. Pero within, or through this organization, through this club, through this council, this term, we were able to find these people na we know will greatly influence our lives. And hopefully, through this episode, marami rin kinapulutan yung mga watchers natin, yung mga katamarals natin na nanonood ngayon. And sadly, again, this is our last episode, but don't worry. I mean, on our part, tuloy pa rin ang servisyo. Pero for the next school year, the Student Coordinating Board for sure would continue another program or maybe continue this legacy that we have started of this program for Tambayan TV. 2021. Actually, not 2021 na kasi continuous siya. So, again, continue to support Tambayan TV and as well the, the projects of the Student Coordinating Board. We will continue to serve uh, each and every one of you. Hear out your concerns. Bridge you to the administration and administrators and ensure na in what, uh, whatever way we represent your sentiments, your voice. And yun talaga ang aming goal for this school year. Once again, thank you everyone and thank you to my co-officers. This is our last episode. Good graduate to tayo. Then, let's joke. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Around for the whole school year. <laughs> we are the Student Coordinating Board, leaders of bravery and transparency.
before we became the SEB, let's take a look at the past projects of the club. The after party of the ABC concert. Last year's movie for a cause. And the council's original project, the Grade 11 Batch 9. characters and be miles apart, but we are united. We listen, we innovate, and we serve in leading the FEU community. We are the Student Coordinating Board, leaders of bravery and transparency. <laughs> 